1913 is a year of great upheaval. Artists are trying to find new ways to develop an art which would be free from the society, or at least from the bourgeois order of the past decade. Books played a major role in that project, but not books as we know them. Some of those books were hand colorized by the artist. So each is unique, propose just a different relationship between text and images. Olga Rosanova is one of the artists who pioneered this new use of books in the second decades of the 20th century. Often she worked with her companion, Alexei Kruchonik, a poet. The little duck's nest of bad words is with the Telile, their most famous accomplishment. Alexei Kruchonik invented a new language called Zaum. Zaum can be translated into transrational or beyond reasons. The idea was to free language from meaning, to free the words, to create words for the shape or the sounds, not to be bound to a specific meaning. Books played a major role. Cheap books, small books, distributed in large edition, books without a real binding. Usually the sheets are just stapled together. Most of those booklets were produced in rather large edition, a few hundred copies. However, because of their mode of distribution, they were given freely to other artists or exchanged against other works. Few of them survived. So very few copies of The Duck's Nest, for instance, are known today. We are very lucky that in the collection of the Museum of Modern Art, we have two copies, allowing to understand how the artist basically reinvented the text through the illustration each time in that process. And there is something extremely radical to be almost a place of a performative action which those books convey so well today.